I will begin introducing our features today with Bill Duncan, over to my right, and tell you a little bit about Bill. He grew up in Boston area, Fitchburg, Fort Dix, also in Washington. His father was in the military. As a pastime in childhood, he was active in cycling and street hockey, but he also loved music. And he used to love to imitate Paul McCartney singing Woo. Could you, could you demonstrate? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> I didn't get that through the uh, letter, you know? <laughs> but thank you. He started writing songs at age 12 with his brother, and his first song was about his dog, Bruno. Bill sang in choirs and was in a number of rock bands, and he went to Berkeley to study guitar and voice and audio, and he began getting involved in other bands. But it's only recently, around 2012, that he started attending open mics and started writing more songs and performing them out, and since then he's been performing around Massachusetts in features, concerts, and fundraisers, and he has his first CD released. And when I asked Bill, what have you learned most from your time, music making, and sharing with others? He said, I would say that I have come to understand how precious time is and how true it is that variety is the spice of life. And with that, I would like to introduce with some songs to share this morning, Bill Duncan. Good morning, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Cheryl, for having me. I'm going to start off with uh, Tell Me Your Story. <laughs> so what's the deal? What is your appeal? Why am I feeling the way that I feel? Maybe it's the way your smile lights up the room And drives away all of the gloom Makes me forget about all of my sorrow And wanna live like there's no tomorrow Tell me your story, where have you been? Where are you going and how do I fit in? Tell me your story, what will you do? And is there a chance between me and you? So what's the deal? Why don't you call? Come and catch me, I'm already starting to fall. Haven't I already shown you my hand? Now I've got to find out just where I stand. Tell me your story. Where And is there a chance between me and you? Don't leave me standing out in the cold. Tell me your story. Don't keep me on hold. Don't keep me on hold. 
Thank you very much. Now, um, all of these songs are on my uh, CD, which I have available for sale. It's called The Dark and the Light. That's what Cheryl was referring to. And um, most of them were written since I started doing the open mics in 2002. And um, this one is called All About Life. It's dedicated to my son, Richard. Son, if you seek and you should find that you have too much weighing heavy on your mind learning to love and how to hate to have regrets when you find that it's too late how to give and how to take to beg forgiveness when you've made a grave mistake how to hurt and how to heal when to steal your heart and when to let it feel with all the knowledge you may gain every insight's bound to bring a little pain what to believe and who to follow when folks are false and the truth seems hollow who to fight, who to befriend There's no beginning and there's no end Who to trust and who to fear Who would take from you the things that you hold dear I want to teach you all about life Tell you how it looks from where I stand I want to teach you all about life Your father wants to lend a helping hand So many questions will arise Some of the answers will Take you by surprise When to build up, when to destroy When it's time for tears of sadness Time for tears of joy When to be wise or play the fool Whether to lose your head Or to keep you cool When to say no and to say when how to get back on your feet again I want to teach you all about life Tell you how it looks from where I stand I want to teach you all about life Your father wants to lend a helping hand I want to teach you all about life Share with you all my diagnoses I want to teach you all about life Spare you from the isms and the OCs I want to teach you all about life All about life Thank you very much. Just run. Well, you're looking once again like you've been thrown beneath the bus. I still don't understand why you've been making such a fuss 
And in the wake of new events, so while you're still sitting on the fence, how I wish you would dispense with all the drama. Let your imagination start to spin out of control You insist upon inflicting all that torture on your soul When you wind up in disgrace You'll say the thrill was in the chase Or it was just another case of instant karma seem to learn to listen to your common sense what will you have to say sweet child in your own defense when it comes time for you to answer to the one who hasn't missed one thing you've done just run till you get to some place safer where nobody can hurt you and you know you Just run Would you say that you were taken? Did he captivate your heart? Surely you were shaken and you rose torn apart Going through the pain was all you ever stood to gain As you watched your interest change into obsession Overpowered by emotion, swiftly moving in with stealth Oblivious to burdens placed upon your mental health It will be hard for you, I know, but now you'll have to let him go Or you'll be paying dearly for your indiscretions Making up at times when you just didn't have the nerve Now you find there are occasions when we get what we deserve You thought that you had finally found the one But now you see he's someone you should shun Just run Till you get to someplace safer Where nobody can hurt you And you know you're out of danger Just run you when there's no cause for alarm just run till you get to someplace safer where nobody can hurt you when you know you're out of danger just run till you know you're free from harm where hope will not desert you when there's no cause for alarm just run just run just run. Thank you very much. This is called One More Friend. I didn't want it to end this way, no, I never did want it to end. Maybe we both just misunderstood, but I'll still think of you as a friend. Two tender hearts on the rebound, we're all too easily hurt. Now something special that we found Lies buried under the dirt Let me back in your life again There's always room for one more friend Open your heart Say we can start all over again 
I never knew what came over me Well, I, I guess I liked it that way Some of your moves didn't harmonize With all the things you would say So many things that we left unsaid So much that should have been we never paid proper goodbyes And I want to see you again Let me back in your life again There's always room for one more friend Open your heart Say we can start all over again Can't deny all that we shared Or that I was somebody who cared Let me back in your life again There's always room for one more friend Open your heart Say we can start all over Again There's always room for one more friend Open your heart Say we can start all over again Thank you very much. For my last number, I'm going to do um, Prayer of the Fearful. And this is part of where the title of the album comes from, uh, The Dark and the Light. I believe in good and evil, wrong and right, the dark and the light. I believe in love and hatred, life and death, the damned and the sacred. Yet I have doubt in my own power, curse my insecurity. When I fail to seize the moment, or answer opportunity. Let me trust my intuition, I've got to lose this. I believed you when you told me, trust in me, and you'll get by. I believe you walked beside me, helped me keep my head up high. Help me make some better choices, it's time to heed. Wise voices, let me believe in me. Take charge of my destiny. I will never. are being answered though the changes seem so slow throw me in a dose of patience i need lots of help you know i need a shot of self-esteem if i'm to realize a dream 
let me believe in me. Take charge of my destiny. I will never truly be free till I learn to believe in me. Winter evenings, he stepped down into the cellar, teeming with pipes, insulation, feathers, as steamy as a place can be and still be in New England. Each fall, he'd pack up his prized cochins and move them in, their seasonal roost beneath his house, satisfying whatever foul aversion for the cold they might have felt. And here, amidst the cackle, the gossip of anticipation, he worked his magic. No longer just a man. He became alchemist, wizard, god, lording over his homemade incubator of wood and asbestos, mesh wire and heating coils, demanding twice daily ministrations. During those bleak, aborted days, he rolled the eggs. In due time, equipped with electric torch, he systematically culled the unfertilized, the stunted, the almost dead. Those black nights, he exacted judgment. The rejected cracked into the dustbin as their vivacious, spring-destined sisters showed fully, darkly, blooming shadows against the incandescence of his wand. Who owns those eyes like arrows shot from across the wall of night that wish to slay me? Whose eyes look up from the bottom of the well immune to the pebbles I drop that beckon me to drink, drink deep, whose eyes painted on the faces of leaves float past me on the icy rush and draw me near the falls. In the morning light, I seek familiar glass to shave my face and find that there's no one there. The eyes. Uh, this, is, this is a poem about poets you know, like singer-songwriters write songs about singer-songwriters on the road and all that. Uh, this is a poem about some poets on uh, sad, rainy days. It's called Alliteration Oz. What price poets pay to please through heavy, haunted hearts that bleed? They sacrifice sad souls to tease to a world that waits and wants and needs. The finest fools seek forever flames whose pleasures promise pangs of pain. A cool caress only nearly tames what will roar and rise and rage again. Ah, the world shan say I did not strive to proudly pierce her precious heart. When high you shoot, someone must sigh. Yes, this of sense from the very start. Oh, what's the use in saying things those captivated ears can't hear? For songs, this song sings, turn fate echoings, which will bring her never, never near. Alliteration eyes. The final poem I'll do is uh, it's called The Watchman. It'll be the title of my forthcoming book, The Watchman. The watchman sleeps in my dreams. Who then is there to tell me to not re-enter the labyrinth, to ford the swift cold river into the deep lush forest, 
was to penetrate the hazy dreams of a nameless lover. I hear the roar of the wind and the rush of tide. I see the drift of smoke and feel the press of shadows upon my naked breast, my cheek warm and red. But I do not understand the why in those sounds, nor recognize these shapes as seeds of love and time and grace. I then proceed to bathe in embers until I am as pure as destiny's dust, returning to the dawn, reborn, yet slave to the waiting night. Thank you very much. First one in autumn, autumn. My neighbors can see through trees undressed by autumn, so I must wear pants. <laughs> spring. My neighbors can't see through the tree's new spring wardrobe. No need to wear pants. <laughs> Thank you. and pear, apricot, then 